All right, you guys, in this video today, we're gonna go over five visual signs that your saltwater tank is very healthy and is maturing. Um, a lot of people love to talk about water quality and water parameters, but what if you're not testing all the time? Or what if you wanna know just good signs that your tank is uh, balancing out, it's maturing and it's healthy. So we're gonna go over those five signs today, guys, with my 20 gallon reef tank here. And let's go ahead, let's get right into it. Now, don't get me wrong. It is, of course, important to test your water and test your parameters, but this is just gonna be something that you can easily see with the naked eye here that I'm gonna show you guys in my established tank. Now, I know the tank doesn't look super clean, but I've kind of held off on scraping the glass because um, there's some things hidden in your glass that you'll be able to tell that your tank is actually maturing. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna get right into those things, guys. So the first visual sign that your saltwater tank is maturing, guys, is if you start to notice microorganisms start to pop up all over your tank and they start to thrive. Um, now these will come in the form of, they kind of look like little shrimp, like little copepods, pods, or they'll look like little bugs. Um, or even like in my case, you guys can see over the back glass there, I have a ton of little white dots. And those are like these little spiral looking worms. Let me see if my camera can focus on them right here. Um, they're pretty small, so you, you really can't, I can't get them to focus, but they're little spirals and those are like little worms. And um, all these microorganisms are just a sign that your tank, it's got a little ecosystem going on that everything is thriving, everything is finding food. Um, and now in my case, like the little white worms, like the little white dots everywhere, they're actually a beneficial thing. They kind of filter out your water um, and access nutrients. Um, now you can get rid of them. They're, they're pretty easy to get rid of. You just scrape them off the glass. As you can see, like my front glass is clean and I pretty much scraped them off my side glass. So, and uh, for the sake of the video, I just left them in the back of the glass over there, as you guys can see. Um, and they help stable out your, your water. And you know, when they show up and they repopulate, kind of like how they have here, um, that means that your water is uh, getting stable because they don't really like unstable water. Same with like copepods and amphipods. Um, you guys will notice those guys crawling around on your glass and your water column. Like I know if I open up my little scraper here, I don't know if you guys can see those little guys wiggling around and moving around, but uh, those are copepods and amphipods. Now you might have to look a little closer to find those, uh, but that's just the first sign that your tank is maturing a little bit and doing well. So these next two visual signs guys that I'm about to say, these two are my personal favorite. So the next one that you're gonna wanna look out for is little sea sponges. Now these are kind of harder to locate, but I've actually found one. It's a little pineapple sponge. And these are a really good sign that your tank is doing well. So you guys can see right there, that is a little pineapple sponge, how it kind of looks like a pineapple. Um, I'm not getting the best focus on it. There it is, right there in the center of the screen. That's a little sea sponge. And those guys are really delicate. And that's a really great sign because if those are living in your tank, that means your water parameters are super stable, um, you know, whatever they may be. So if you guys start to see sea sponges, you're definitely treading in the right direction. And like I said, these next two were my favorite. So one is the sea sponge, like you guys just saw that little pineapple sponge right there. Let me see if I can uh, zoom in. There he is, you see, he's kind of got like that little thing on the side of his, uh, on the top of his head there. It looks like a little pineapple. So sea sponges are great. So if you guys see those, that's kind of like a little thing to look out for. I know I was pretty geeked when I saw that. Um, but the next one that is also my favorite is of course, coralline algae. Now my coralline algae came right after a very bad hair algae outbreak. So if you're going through a, a bad hair algae outbreak, kind of like I did, um, and I'll throw a video up, it might be the wrong orientation, so sorry about that. But if you're going through a bad hair algae outbreak, what I did to deal with it, was I had a little lawnmower uh, blenny in there and I just kind of let it deal with itself. You know, I let the tank kind of balance out with its own um, extra excess nutrients and just, it's kind of like uh, an ugly stage in maturing. Um, but once your hair algae goes away, you will start to grow this coralline algae that you can see over here on the side glass. And it's this really cool purple encrusting algae and it will completely um, kind of starve off all hairline al or all hair algae and you really won't have to worry about it and if you guys like check my rocks out hold on one sec so here's the coralline 
growing around my tank, those big spots right there and over here. And I have a little bit in the back. Um, but if you guys like check out my rocks, like these were all covered in um, hair algae before. Same with like my back glass. But now you guys can see that the rocks are clean and the sand bed is also clean. So it, it literally just like went away on its own, the hair algae. So if you guys are getting coralline algae, you're definitely moving in the right direction. And that's kind of like almost the final sign that like your tank is there, it's gonna be stable. And hopefully there's no more surprises as far as the cycling stage. And you can pretty much just, uh, you know, monitor your tank and add things to your tank as you wish. Of course, always monitor and test and look for signs because, uh, you know, tanks can just crash. Um, so it's important that, you know, you just kind of keep up with everything. The fourth thing that you really want to look out for, guys, is just how is everything in the tank overall doing? Like, have you lost fish recently or have you lost corals? Um, or has everything kind of been pretty steady? Like for me, this tank, um, I haven't really lost anything, knock on wood, in quite a while. My clownfish is three years old and some of these corals are, you know, very old, like this Duncan and this mushroom, which actually just split. You know, in the last video, that was uh, two, so he just split off. And same with my bubble tip, which, actually, which is actually looking really good. And as you can see, there's two of those now. They actually split, so both of those guys split. Um, and like the Xenia is just doing great, which typically it does. And same with the GSP. Um, so, you know, if everything looks good in your tank, that's just a good sign. Um, or not if everything looks, well, yeah, if everything looks good, that's a good sign. But also if nothing's really dying, um, I know things can kind of get ugly in your tank. But it doesn't necessarily mean that the tank's doing bad. It's just going through its stage of balancing itself out. So that's completely normal. But um, as long as, you know, your corals are looking good, you're not losing fish left and right, um, you know, you're doing the right thing, you're on the right track. And that's a pretty good visual sign. Um, and then, of course, if you take that into consideration with everything else that we talked about, you're sure to be on the right track. And last but not least, guys, the fifth visual sign I want to talk about is your sand bed. Now, your sand bed is actually a whole ecosystem in itself that houses tons of bacteria and life in there, like little bristle worms that can help filter your sand out. Um, and you will also get these little bacteria bubbles. Now, my, my sand bed, um, I went with a shallow sand bed. You can't see it, but I'll throw a picture up now. Um, you know, if your sand bed has these little bubbles in there, those bubbles are actually like little colonies of nitrif nitrifying bacteria. And you basically don't really want to disturb that if you can help it um, because good bacteria lives in there. And that's just showing that you're help building your bacteria population up. And, you know, that's basically the name of the game, right? You want to build up your, your bacteria so you can export all your nutrients and, um, you know, just complete the whole cycle, right? That's what it's all about. So if you're getting signs of life in your sand bed, guys, that is a good sign. Even if you see those little white bristle worms, as long as they don't get too big, they're actually pretty beneficial because they'll come up in the middle of the night and they'll kind of scavenge for food and, and anything left over, any detritus or anything. So those guys are actually part of your cleanup crew um, and they just kind of go throughout the sand all day and sift it down or sift it around. Um, so yeah, if you guys see life in your sand bed, that's a healthy sign, that's a good sign and your tank is going in the right direction. So don't worry. But that will about do it for this video, guys. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comment section down below, and I'll try my best to answer them. Um, and I guess next plans, next steps for this tank is I wanna get a good rescape going, and I wanna try to get um, some more livestock, maybe a firefish and another clown, and that will go with my one clown that I already have in here, as well as my yellow watchman goby that never comes out. Um, I wanna rescape it, this tank, and maybe get some LPS corals or um, like some frog spawn or some torch corals or something just to get a little bit more action in here. And then the plan is eventually to upgrade this tank size, obviously, once it needs it, which, um, you know, obviously you can add more fish and more corals once you get a bigger tank. And some stuff is already growing out um, a ton here. Like this Duncan is getting huge. Um, we got the, the split on the anemone and the split on the mushroom and the GSP is always growing and same with the Xenia. So stuff's growing here. And uh, I know the tank doesn't look the most visually pleasing, but I'd like to change the scape and now I can scrape the glass and everything and make this look nice. So, you know, I appreciate you guys stopping by and sticking around for the video. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. And if you're a returning viewer, I appreciate the support, but I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy, guys. Peace out.